gym. Is this is this Parker? No, this is not this is not the Parker that. that oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, so since you're not doing debates and you said we can just ask questions, I was gonna um, ask something related to dark matter. So I'm currently in the process of reading um, A Brief History of Time by Stephen Hawking. I'm sure you've read it before. Um, I just got done. I, get, I just got done with the chapter about um, black holes aren't so black after all, because you know there's different ways that we can. Um, like he, he he essentially goes through like the different um, theories of how we could essentially detect a black hole and the fact that they're emitting um, alpha and beta particles. Uh, it it, it kind of goes over my head essentially, like all like the the low level details, but. He got me thinking, and I'm sure he probably addresses this later, but when people talk about dark matter and the fact that we can't observe it, but we know that it's there, is it possible that there is just countless black holes just seething through the universe that we just can't see, but they're so small and they're holding everything together? Yeah, uh, so PBS Space Time has a video on this, I'm pretty sure, is Dark Matter Black Holes. So every PBS Eons video I watch goes so, yeah, what if dark matter is just black holes? They did a video on this two years ago, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to refer you to that because I don't remember, from what I remember, they are pretty confident that the data doesn't bear it out, okay. um, but I don't remember why. Gotcha. But that is an idea that's been floated around. So check out the PBS space or uh, yeah, PBS space time uh, video because they 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 covered that. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. That's all I was wondering. Oh yeah. Well, it's a good question. Yeah. Too bad I'm uh, not a physicist. <laughs> um, you're, you're all good. I'm yeah. See ya. Space is my Roman Empire. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello, Nathan. Hello? Yeah, what's up? Oh, my God. I actually got on here. Sorry, babe. One second. So I had a question. Um, I'm kind of neutral in my beliefs. I don't believe there's anything, but I don't necessarily believe that there's nothing. So it says on that, on whatever's above the live, God hypothesis is useless cope. Yes. If people can use it and gain comfort, and then there can also be people that don't believe in it and gain comfort in disproving it, how is it useless? So I mean it's useless in the sense of uh, trying to answer questions about the world. Uh, that's what I mean by you. I mean it's like epistemologically uh, useless. It may uh, have some social function or whatever. And that's cool. That's fine. I don't like. I I don't go. I don't really debate people about whether or not God exists. It does. I mean, we do talk about it a lot on here because people bring it up. But I just, I I just think that the arguments justifying it are always pretty bad, and the arguments, the arguments uh, where God is the cause of something, I think those are really bad too. So that's what I mean by the God hypothesis. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you, man. Oh, you're totally welcome. I, uh, I know somebody whose last name is Tidwell, but I've never known anybody else. Until now. Or, sorry, hold on. <clears throat> Until now. Have I ever convinced a flat earther? Um, sort of. I, I've I've convinced several of them that the argument they're making literally makes absolutely no sense. I've I've got them to admit that before, but have I ever heard of light matter? Uh, I don't think so. Can I prove the Earth is real? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> 